What is up guys? Welcome back to my cycling channel. Last week I did 30 hours. Well, just under 30 hours. I finished my ride on Sunday. I was walking up the stairs and I was like, yeah, I did 30 hours this week. I look at my training peaks and it says 29 hours, 48 minutes. I almost got on the bike and finished off 12 minutes, but I didn't do it, but I was close. So needless to say, it's the next week and I'm freaking wasted and we're going up Mount Lemon with the wife. So did cycling save our marriage? Oh yeah, for sure. Do you think we would have got a divorce? I don't know, but I was thinking about it. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about that today and how I think cycling saved my life. I'm gonna tell you more about that. Today's a personal video, some personal stuff. So you guys get to know me a little better. I think it makes it a little more fun. Plus, I've always been the guy that just talks too much and tells too much. Oversharer? I'm a, I was an oversharer, for sure. I wanted people to like me. All right, let's show you guys some Mount Lemon and we'll chat some more. We're going up Mount Lemon. The guy on the motorcycle just went by playing Rage Against the Machine. Now you do what they told you. Now you do what they told you. Do what they told you. Cacti. Look at all the cacti. Cactus. Cactuses. Down now, down Mount Lemon. Let's do this. The name of this coffee shop, La Buzz. We love riding our bikes together when we get the chance, which we did today. That was so amazing because we probably only get to ride together like once or twice a week because of the kids. I had someone complain about that. See, the camera's on the table, and if we bump the table, it shakes the camera, and then someone's going to leave a comment. Oh, the camera was so shaky, it, uh, it made me almost want to throw up. I'm joking. So what do you think almost brought us to divorce? That cycling like kind of took us out of it. And like cycling was like the catalyst to help us rebuild our relationship. Yeah, it was m multiple factors. I mean, you were working, you know, 70 plus hours a week. Yeah. We had a one year old, a newborn baby. We had a 13 year old that was going off the rails. And, and we just were going like this. Yeah. And I had postpartum depression. And we just, we weren't connecting. You know, we were sort of just you know, living in the same house, but not I remember, connected. I remember I'd like come home and be like, you want to go to the gym? And you're like, no, I don't feel good. 
and then the next day you'd be like, we don't do anything together. <laughs> you don't want to spend time with me. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's what you're, you don't want to spend time with like, Holy shit. Yeah. Can't win here. Can't you win here. make these stories up in your head, right? And you buy into it. Yeah, you were telling yourself, I don't want to go to the gym because I don't want people to see me. And then when I'd be like, and plus he probably doesn't want me to go. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really want me to go with so. him. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what I was telling you. So, but then what, so I think what happened with cycling, what helped us is like, we found this passion together and we wanted to get faster together. So it's like, oh, we're, you know, I remember like specifically we would show up to the Thursday night time trial mm-hmm. and we would like know each other's times. So, oh, you got 22 minutes? You did 22.30? You broke 40 kilometers an hour? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I knew your times, you knew my times. Yeah. You know? I remember breaking 20 minutes for me was a big deal. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and it was fun, because then, we, like, on the way there, you know, we're talking, we're both kind of, like, nervous, so we're kind of, like, trying to calm each other down. Then on the way home, we're excited, you know, if we had a good night, and... yeah. Even if we didn't, it was still just, you know, we were out together and that was really fun. Yeah. I remember too, like we would do rides together and sometimes we wouldn't even talk. Mm -hmm. Like we would ride out to the hill or wherever we were doing the intervals. We would do the intervals at our own pace and then ride home. And there wasn't much talking, but because we were there together, we were... Connected. Connecting. And... I think, you know, even making that time to do it once a week yeah, really, really helped us. Yeah. And helps us now. I mean, I, I remember yeah. No, no, yeah. just even recently where I had the baby, like, you know, the fourth baby. So I wasn't, I stopped riding probably for, well, at least a year. Yeah. And there was a little disconnection starting, right? Yeah. So, and then once I got back on the bike, we kind of came back together. So it's definitely been like a glue in our relationship. No, 100%. And so great for mental health. So that's like the other thing, you know, when I had the postpartum depression before, we started working out together. It really helped shift things and change things for that aspect, right? No, 100%. You know what I just realized? I started this this video without even looking at my face or my hair. I've done a video where I shot the whole video, like 30 minutes, and I got like a peanut... Uh, skin stuck to my cheek <laughs> and I'm like I gotta shoot the whole thing again Aww. so I hope that doesn't happen here no, I think you're looking good no, thank you um, and I think even with the mental health aspect is like you know now even currently if something kind of gets under my skin and I'm having a bad day I'll start having the thoughts like, oh, screw it, I'm just going to skip my ride because I don't have the mental energy to handle both. But if I can just push through that, get on the bike, I always feel better after. Like, always, right? Because now you've accomplished something. So you kind of get that little confidence boost or that, you know. Yeah. If I didn't exercise Mm -hmm. for a week or two, I would get depressed. And if I gained, if everything else was going on good in my life and I gained weight, I would get depressed. Mm-hmm. And I find that's like two of the things that cycling really helped me with is they keep my weight down mm-hmm. and it expels that energy. And I need to expel that energy and I need to exercise because if I don't, I'm going to I'm gonna get unhappy. Yeah. And I think there's probably a lot of people watching this that see us ride together and think, oh, my wife would never do that. And uh, yeah, maybe you're right, your wife wouldn't. But what I would suggest is try and find something that you can yeah, do together. Yeah, something. It doesn't have to be cycling, exactly. Like we um, went... We were doing mountain rock climbing. We did we rock climbing. We did the dragon together. boating. Yeah, we did dragon boating together. There's a lot of stuff that we, yeah. you know. We used to go bowling all the time. Yeah. So just find any activity, right? It could be gardening, golfing, you know, anything. whatever. And then Art, and dancing. Like, it just could be anything creative. It doesn't even have to be, like, physical form. And then, I mean, you know, if someone's wife would be interested in cycling, but there's a huge disparity, right? They have the e-bikes now. Yeah. Right? We were going to do that. I think, yeah. I mean, that's even a possibility still for us. Just grab her an e-bike. If she needs, like, you know, get her right on the e-bike before a regular bike. Mm -hmm. And then that way, it'll keep you guys Mm -hmm. together. Easier, for sure. And especially on the hills. I mean, she could, like, friggin' pace you up the hill. (laughs) Right? Because I think that's where, like... Yeah, I think those things go fast up the hill. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try one one day. Yeah. It'd be fun. I'd like to punish you on one, actually. Yeah, I'm sure you would. (laughs) Get me back? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, guys. I think that's it. We just want to do a quick video, check in, you know, show you guys a little bit about us and like, you know, because I got so many subscribers recently. We did a video like this a couple months ago, but just want to sit down with you guys, you know, show you my wife, my beautiful wife. I'm blessed. And just like show you that we, you know, our marriage has definitely been a struggle and that's why we cycle. Like that's how I wanted to show you guys like why we got into cycling and like why we continue with it because it's been a blessing in our life. And like when I say it saved my life, like I really, I really believe that I would not be have the happiness and joy in my life today if I didn't mm -hmm. stumble onto cycling because it saved my, helped save my marriage and it helped keep me sane, keep me happy, and keep me healthy. Mm -hmm. It kills that anxiety, right? Yeah, it helps definitely to helps relieve anxiety, that anxiety, yeah. which I think most people suffer from nowadays. A hundred percent. So, two giveaways going on: Wahoo Element Rome, Garmin Edge eight thirty. Links are in the description. All you got to do to enter is click the link. A thank you from me to you for my subscribers and my viewers. And if you like this kind of cycling content, please consider subscribing. Come along on my cycling journey. I'm down here in Tucson for the next uh, six weeks training like a pro you heard I did like 30 hours last week I'm doing at least 20 hours a week so you want to follow along see what we're doing and uh, yeah if you like the video please like it and please comment I love to hear from you guys I read all the comments and I try to answer all of them um, so yeah that's it guys I'll see you on the next video see ya bye